Hey, 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 how's it going, everyone? Welcome to another video. I'm your host, Wugger Z, and today we're going to talk about multi streaming what it is, who is it for, and why you should take advantage of it. Now, if you are a Twitch affiliate or partner, this video may not be for you. So if you are, there is a lot more content on my channel that can help you. But multi-streaming, at least for now, yes, Twitch is opening a bit the doors uh, so you can multi-stream to TikTok and Instagram at the top of my head. Um, and they said to every partner, you are free to stop the stream and go stream on YouTube or somewhere else. This is not multi-streaming. This is their way of saying it. You don't have to leave. We don't have to pay you out. So you're losing those money. And the people that already subscribed to you because you're not leaving the platform, you're just streaming as well somewhere else. The people will keep their subscription, probably forget about them, and keeps and Twitch keeps earning, even though they're not doing much. So if you're looking into multi-streaming, this is the video for you. Grab your cuppa, jump on the walk train, let's do it. All right, let's look about multi-stream. What is multi-streaming? Multi-streaming is streaming at the same time on multiple platform. So you're sending your stream not only to one platform, but to more platform, more than one platform. At the time of recording this video, Twitch only allows the multi-stream for partners and affiliates only to TikTok and Instagram. My opinion is because the viewer experience is better on Twitch. So they're like, let's get some of those viewers to us, you know. <laughs> Other than my opinions, this is what it is. But for every other platform, so you can literally stream at the same time to YouTube, Twitch if you're not affiliated or partner in this case, Trovo, Facebook if, if it's still a thing, I'm not sure. I haven't been on Facebook in like 20 years. Trovo, DLive is, is a dead platform. Gleamash, is it still there? Not sure. Uh, it was a follow to follow scheme anyway. Um, if you do want to know more about the platform, the streaming platform of 2022, I do have a video linked somewhere. This is not the point of this video. The point of this video is multi-streaming. So you can push your streams on more than one platform. There are paid services like uh, StreamYard, Restream. Restream has a free version and a paid version. Free version, it allows you to push the stream only to two platforms, the one on the Restream.io website. Um, if you're more than two, you have to pay. With the lowest subscription, you only get 720p. So if you're like me, that you stream on 1080p, the lowest subscription is too low. And for Australians, it's 40 bucks a month. 40 bucks a month are you serious just to push your stream like it's it's not worth it so i do have another couple of solutions uh one would be prime you know what prime is check again <laughs> that video with with all the platforms of 2022 prime used to allow the stream to be pushed to um twitch trovo YouTube, DLive, Facebook, until a couple of months ago until the update. So now they have a better integration tool. So they're only doing Twitch and Trovo at the moment. If you only want to stream, by any means, Brian is probably uh, the effortless solution because you send the stream to Brian and Brian push it to these two platforms. But we go back to the same problem that we had with um, Restream.io. Then we only have two platforms as the time that I'm recording this video. Uh, I'm sure they will add again YouTube, maybe DLive. It's a dead platform, but still something. And then maybe YouTube, not entirely sure. 
Um, but at least you know the three, the three big ones: um, YouTube, Twitch, and Trovo. Now there is another way that is a little bit harder, and it needs a good PC if you're using a single setup. If you use a double setup, by any means, do it. And also, it needs a good internet connection. So there's a plugin for OBS. It's called Custom. RTMP and it's very easy to set up, very, very easy to set up. And you can add your stream key and the stream server. So what it does is when you start your stream, right? Uh, once set it up, obviously, uh, you it will start automatically the other platform that you set up on the side effortless you won't see the chat obviously because it's not integrated like prime like stream.io but keep in mind they still use the encoder your stream encoder so it's not only encoding one stream but more than one so you need a slightly beefy pc first and second of all you need to have enough bandwidth let me explain so when you stream, you have to have a look at your internet plan, the home internet plan. And if the plan says, you know, um, 25, 5, um, 5, uh, 50, 25, 100, 40, this is your speed. Download and upload. Right, so download that, take it from the internet, upload because uploading content. When you do content creation and streaming, the only thing that you should care about is upload. Is not the most sponsored stuff that you find uh, when you look at uh, internet providers, unfortunately. But it's very, very important because as a streamer, you upload content. So you need the upload speed. Now, every streamer's got its own bit rate. Bit rate is the upload rate. If it says 6,000 bit rate, it means 6 megabytes, right? So if you have a connection, like for example, I have... I have the 100 megabytes per second download and 40 upload, right? So what I've been doing with this plugin at the moment, I stream directly to YouTube with 6 megabytes per second. And then I have Twitch and Trovo with this plugin. So... And it's easy as well in the settings because you send out the same bit rate. So I have six megabytes per second per for Twitch, six megabytes per second for Trivo, and six megabytes per second for YouTube. So you need 18 megabytes. Um, if you stream, for example, like me at 1080p um, with 6,000 bit rate, which is... In theory, the maximum that you can have on Twitch is affiliate. It's not been set in stone, but since I push the stream on three platforms from my own computer, I keep it at six. And also, I just make it easier when you set it up. Um, if you have the same bit rate on on the main platform, and then the one on the plugin that you listed, but when you multi-stream with this plugin, it's free, completely free of charge. But as I said, it used the encoder of the PC. So it's encoding three streams, not one, or four streams and not one. And also, you need to have enough upload speed available with your internet provider to be able to support the uploading on the stream. Last tip. You plan to stream full time, you're planning to make content full time. Try to make sure if you can to connect your PC that you see here. This is my PC, my build, <laughs> my baby, the baby beast. Um, your PC directly to the router 
with a LAN cable. It will always be faster than using Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi for streaming is bad. So if you can avoid it, it's better. Okay. <laughs> I've got a funny story to tell. I know this video has been a little bit different and that was the whole point. Now, I go around Discord servers a lot, uh, mostly of big companies, you know, like Elgato and um, Stream Elements. Um, and I had the chance to meet in one of these servers. I had the chance to meet um, someone. <laughs> My God, sorry. Um we're talking about multi streaming, and he was going on about he couldn't multi stream because he didn't have enough bandwidth. You know how we just spoke about bandwidth just now? Anyway, so I told him about this plugin. Uh, he was angry about, um, he was angry with Restream because it would only let him restream to two platforms. And after a while, we were talking, it was going, keep going on about six platforms. And so after a little while, I asked him, six platform, what are you talking about? He said to me, oh, yeah, I need six megabytes per second for Twitch, Trovo, YouTube, and DLive. I told him, DLive is pretty much a dead sort of platform. So... Either you're there or you're not there, it doesn't really matter. And, and then he told me, no, I need 24 megabytes per second for YouTube and and Prime because I want to stream on 1440p on both platforms. I'm like, 1440p on Prime? Why would you do that? Oh, yeah, because I can. I'm like, mate. There's not a lot of people watching 1080p streams, let alone, you know, 1440p. And I'm like, also, you must have a beast of a computer. He said to me, I have two streaming PCs. I have one PC for the four platforms at six megabytes per second, and another one to stream to YouTube and, and Brime. We 24 megabytes per second. And then I have a gaming PC. I'm like, dude, you have three PCs. Wouldn't wouldn't it be easier just to use the plugin or pay for a stream and then use your time to make some TikToks, some YouTubes? <laughs> and he said to me, no, no, no. Um, I gave up. I gave up. I just love to stream and stream games. I'm like, yeah, all right, dude. All right. I appreciate you got until here. Very, very much appreciate it. I, <laughs> I've tried to be as simple as possible when I um, explained it. If there's something that is not clear, please pop a comment down below. Anyway, just pop a comment down below anyway, <laughs> even your favorite emoji that works too. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, ring the notification bell so you'll be notified next time that I upload the video. And as usual, guys, don't forget, don't forget, <laughs> yes, you, I'm talking to you. Um, don't forget to check out the Discord server. Uh, still very, very small. I reopened it about a couple of weeks ago. Uh, we're coming from Trivo, from, from Gilded, so people are still flo floating in. Um, but it's a good place, you know, to keep in contact with me. Uh, you will see the streams, um, the streaming notifications and stuff. Talking about streams, I stream always every Friday at 8 p.m. Australian Central Standard Time. I, say, 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 say. <laughs> I stream I stream every Friday at 8 p.m. Australian Central Standard Time as a base. I always upload my YouTube video at 12 a.m. Australian Central Standard Time on Sunday. If I can, I stream in one of the afternoons during the week, and that will be about the same time as Friday. Other than that, guys, as usual, happy gaming.